Hi, I'm Carrie. Hi, I'm Benami. Hi, I'm Mila. Um, right now, or today, this we are making a kind of simple prototype of our spin our launch. Watch. Yes, our spin launch. And where uh, Terry's making the claw and I'm making, well, like the arm part. And, then and I'm yes. here documenting our progress and working on the slides for our presentation. Um, today we did two prototypes. So we have this one, but we also had another one before this, which didn't quite, actually no, it had three, um, but it didn't, the other two didn't quite work as well. So we decided to make this prototype instead. This is our Robocop Spike Challenge project, the Vacuum Spin Launcher. We based this idea on a real world spin launcher prototype that we saw online, which uses the sealed spinner to launch a rocket into the air. Because our spin launcher uses the energy from the spin to send people on their journey to space, it doesn't need as much fuel and propellants. When a spacecraft uses propellants like rockets or jets, it can kick up dangerous amounts of dust and particles that can damage the surroundings. This is especially important on the surface of the moon or asteroids so that the dust doesn't damage a spacecraft. With our launcher, we aim to launch humans, rockets and other technologies into space without having to consume as much unrenewable resources. Our spin launcher is constructed using the Spike Prime Kit. The key part to our model is the spinning hub. The hub powers our project, causing the motor and arm to spin. After finalising our robot, we moved on to the coding phase. We wanted to make our robot automated as much as possible to always be efficient and reliable. Hence, we used the built-in gyro sensor to measure the pitch angle of the vacuum spin launcher. The code works by setting the speed to 75%, then waits until the touch sensor is pressed for safety reasons. It then spins until the pitch angle is larger than minus 10, but smaller than minus 20. The motor which connects the astronaut to the vacuum spin launcher then releases the aircraft, allowing it to fly. And that is the vacuum spin logic completed. Thank you for watching our video.